So, two of YouTube's biggest stars finally make a movie. But is it really that good? Alright guys, so Smosh the Movie is directed by Alex Winter, the director of Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, which I have not seen yet, and it stars the guys who are in Smosh on YouTube, Ian E. Cox and Anthony Padilla. And the plot is that when they get an invite to their five-year reunion, someone posts on that, someone comments on that post a link to a video of Anthony at the graduation party, and he just does a backflip, and a microphone gets shoved up his butt, and Anthony needs to get it down before his high school sweetheart, Anna Reed, sees it, and she remembers how much of a loser he was, because he wants to show her he's not a loser anymore. So they go into YouTube, they actually, like, go inside of YouTube to, like, delete the video, and that is the plot of the film. Now, going into this, I was very skeptical, actually. I mean, I love Smosh, at least their old videos, because now they just suck. But they were always very funny to me at the beginning. They were the first people I ever watched on YouTube. And so, you know what? They kind of hold a special place in my heart. So I w did want to see this movie. And how was it? Well, just like the last movie I reviewed, Pixels, it's very, very mediocre. I mean, there are those moments where you are laughing, you're having a good time. I mean, you might not be laughing, but you're at least having an entertaining time. But then there are those moments that are just like, this is Smosh 2015 humor, and it is just god-awful. But first, let's start with the positives. The positives are that Ian and Anthony have perfect chem chemistry. Some of the best chemistry I've seen all year on screen. Because they've been friends for... Forever, and you can definitely see that in this movie. They they work off each other just brilliantly, it, it, despite the writing being not that great. But overall, you really do buy them as friends, and that's because they are in real life. And I thought their duo was perfect on screen. The direction is also really really cool. I mean, I liked how the director kind of showed them transferring from video to video to video to video. And kind of like just replaying the video over and over so that so they can finally just like make it not happen. I thought that was really good. Um, the writing in the movie, like I said, there are those jokes that are pretty funny. And I was laughing out loud for a lot of these. Not a lot, but I mean some of them. And I was having a fun time. But then there are those other jokes that are just... It's like Smash 2015 humor, and it is just, it's, it's like bottom of the barrel, like we're not even trying any more humor. And that to me is just like, really, dude, come on, seriously. But, I mean, there's nothing really more to stay, say about this. For, fan, for nostalgic fans of Smash, I think you will kind of enjoy this. And for newer fans of Smash, I think you'll just love this. Because you, I, I think you might be able to appreciate old and the new humor if you're a new fan and um yeah so fa new new fans will love it old fans will think it's eh, and i'm an old fan so i thought it was eh. so um yeah overall there's nothing really much else to say about this movie oh michael ian black plays steve's youtube and it's his character where he goes in the last like 20 30 minutes is I, I was literally watching it on my computer. I was just like, oh, that's a terrible, that's a terrible choice to put your character in that position. But, you know, more power to the Smosh people. They finally created their theatrical film. Uh, there are a lot of YouTubers cameos like Markiplier and Jenna Marbles, and they're both very, very, very underutilized. Like, personally, I watch Jenna Marbles quite a bit. And she can be much more utilized rather than in this movie. And also their one chance to use the F word in the movie. It's it's not that good. I mean, I, that's just me nitpicking though. So overall, I'm just going on a ramble here. So overall, I'm going to give Smosh the movie what I get Pixels. And that is a two and a half out of five stars. I think it's a mediocre movie. I If it was like, if it was like five bucks... To buy at like Walmart or something. I would pick it up. Just because you know. Watch it with some friends late night. Not too hard to understand. You know. 
So, yeah, that is my review for Smosh the Movie. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, all my links will be in the description. Comment what you thought. And until my next review, I'm Random Mr. 401, and I will see you all later.